New at five tonight, mentally ill, anorexic, and untreated by his mother. Those are the findings of a new report on Sandy Hook shooter, Adam Lanza. Hi everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. This new report was just released today. News 8's Jocelyn Mementa live tonight in our News 8 control room. She's been pouring over that report all day today. And Jocelyn, it is so disturbing and infuriating too to think that there were all these troubling warning signs leading up to this. There were, and I took part in the online news conference with the experts who wrote the report of the Office of the Child Advocate. They identified missed opportunities in Adam Lanza's life. The details may be too painful for some of you to hear. 20 children and six adults died at Sandy Hook Elementary School on December 14, 2012. The report from the Office of the Child Advocate focused on the red flags in the life of shooter Adam Lanza. He had significant development challenges early on. Adam's parents tried to get help, but he lived an isolated life. Dr. Julian Ford, Department of Psychiatry at Yukon Health Center, explains. Mrs. Lanza's approach to trying to help him was to actually shelter him and protect him and pull him further away from the world. And that in, in turn provide, proved to be unfortunately a, a very tragic mistake. Adam's preoccupation with violence was found to be above and beyond as he grew older. Dr. Hank Schwartz, psychiatrist in chief at the Institute of Living. He belonged to uh, a, a cyber micro society of mass murder enthusiasts who condoned um, and were apparently titillated by um, discussion and consideration of mass murder. Adam was diagnosed with mental illness. The report says he was completely untreated in the years before the shooting. His mental illness was untreated, and his untreated mental illness was a predisposing factor. A thorough evaluation and recommendation from the Yale Child Study Center was not embraced by the family in part because Mrs. Lanza felt that that was not going to be possible for Adam and she was trying to keep him sheltered in, in many ways. I think that parents need to think carefully about the mental health system not as challenging them or taking away from their ability to parent their children but actually as supporting them and working with the mental health system in that case could have provided actually a great deal of help for the whole family and not just for Adam. Adam was also found to be anorexic at the time of his death. He was six feet tall and weighed 112 pounds. Dr. Schwartz says it was a contributing factor. Severe anorexia can produce severe cognitive impairment. The report emphasized there is no way to adequately explain why Adam Lanza did what he did, that only he alone bears the responsibility. Darren and Ann. Jocelyn, I know this is tough for the Newtown families to hear. Thanks for that report tonight. We have gotten a statement of reaction to this report from the American Federation of Teachers, and they say, quote, we hope this report will be used as a source for healing and constructive suggestions going forward. It should not become a vehicle for finger pointing in an already fragile community. We must be careful that we use it for the former and not the latter.